welcome to this tutorial on the white label app builder 2.0 this is for developers that's those people who are building apps for uh, businesses particularly local businesses and the idea here I just want to show you um, how easy it is to build a template or demo app for a particular niche uh, and being able to then show that to your um, prospects so let's say we were going to target uh, pizza restaurants so we'd come up to uh, my applications click plus uh, we'll put pizza demo yeah, just so that we know what it is and now we're going to do oh here we go you can choose the pizza template click that it's already done for you everything is now ready you don't need to worry about the colors the features the application or even the publication because it's all created if you want to change the look and feel um, you can you can do that here so if you wanted for example the home page um, to look any different you could literally all you have to do is uh, click one of these and it will reconfigure the app for you to look like so so let's uh, let's use that for uh, to start with um, actually this one will be better because it's two rows of three so we'll use that to start with for our demo um, everything else we don't need to worry about uh, you can choose the country but because it's it's just a demo it, it, it really isn't going to matter so at this point all we're going to do is come up here to settings and then click that and then domain okay now so this is the domain we're going to uh, uh, copy that and now we're going to uh, send this link to uh, our prospects now you probably wouldn't want to give them this uh, particular link you want to make it easier now there's two ways uh, you can do this one you can go to a short link uh, provider like bit.ly and create a short link uh, so it would be something like uh, bi uh, let's have a look we'll go to bit.ly let's create a short link so we put that in there and we'll put here uh, pizza demo app and click save so now if we copy that you uh, link and put it into the browser here you'll see it will bring up the app let's just get rid of that for a second um, we may need to um, so you wouldn't send someone to this app in a uh, in a desktop browser so they meant to be looking at it on a mobile phone and here we go you can see exactly how it's going to look uh, on a mobile phone now uh, what you can do is create a um, a subdomain I'm sorry let's stop that what you can do is create a subdomain uh, on your website and do a forwarding it's called a mass forwarding URL so let me show you on mine here so what you would do is you'll come into your this is on um, uh, GoDaddy so you'd come in you would create a, um, a new subdomain there for forwarding add subdomain forwarding you'd call it uh, I'm gonna call it uh, uh, pizza app let's put a line in between it so there we've got the URL that we're gonna send people to I'm pasting in Oh, sorry that's not the one I want to paste in we want to come back to the um, app builder and this is the URL that we want to copy so we'll copy that and come back to GoDaddy we're going to paste the URL in there take off the HTTP because it's already there and what we could do is forward with mass forwarding so that means uh, people won't see that they'll only see 
the actual subdomain then click add and you're done and then in order to uh, uh, show prospects all you have to do is give them the subdomain name pizza-app. dot in this case Bilberry Mobile but in, in your case your own domain uh, I hope that all makes sense it will take a little while for the uh, changes to uh, propagate for uh, in, that means for it to actually work so you might need to leave it for half an hour or so but then, then it will all work uh, I hope you found that useful if you have any questions at all on this just open a support ticket and one of our team will be more than happy to help you out thanks very much for watching see you again in another video